Hi, it's me, lovely angel lady. Welcome to my world. to eat so I figured that um, I'm gonna make something quick and as a matter of fact I need to go ahead and set my oven to I do about 375 okay because we're gonna bake this in the oven I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, what we're going to use it's kind of in my family but my mom makes something similar. I kind of um, make some changes to it here and there to um, make it different. Use chicken instead of beef or turkey. Today I'm using ground turkey, um, tortillas, and it's gonna be like a, kind of like an enchilada bake, something like that. Um, and that's pretty much that. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you what I'm using. I'm using this raw turkey. Okay. This is just honeysuckle brand. You can use any brand or you can use ground beef. Sometimes I do use ground beef, sometimes I use chicken, chicken breast, and I cut them up. So today, like I said, I'm using that. And you don't have to use this, but I, I really want like a good flavor to it without having to put too much seasoning in. So I just figured I'll use that today. And that's my, um, it's mild taco seasoning, okay? You can see. And these are ready to cook flour tortillas. Okay, and these are the smaller ones. So that's that. You can get um, your choice of flour tortillas. Or if you want, you can use the other, the corn too. This is, you know, your time to kind of play with the recipe. And these are just some chopped green chilies and they're mild. Pinto beans, and this is also your choice. Sometimes I use black beans, sometimes I use pinto beans, sometimes I don't put any beans. Today I decided I wanted some beans, so I'm gonna use that. I have some um, jalapenos to go after I'm finished cooking. Um, I will put it on top with um, this, my daisy sour cream, just a little dash, you know, on top. And then of course, can't forget the tomato sauce, okay? A big can of tomato sauce. So that it won't be like all dry. So anyway, um, let me go ahead and um, start cooking the meat and everything and I'll be right back. Okay, Okay. so this is my ground turkey cooking. I'm going to go ahead and add some um, onion powder just for a little flavor. I mean I already have taco seasoning so like I said I don't need much. Um, just to make sure that there is some flavoring. Okay. doing this because I don't want to scratch my skillet and I want to break it up good enough. Okay. I'm also going to use just a little dash of salt. I don't like to cook with too much salt so that's going to be all on that. And then also what I'm going to go ahead and do, I don't have uh, fresh onions cut up, which I usually do. I'm going to add some chopped onions. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add my chopped onions. And this is just um, Fifth Seasons brand. It's not that expensive to get these off the season aisle. And sometimes when I really want to take off more, I just take off the top, which I may do. And garlic powder can be a little bit strong if you use too much. 
and I don't want to use too much, just a little bit. And so that's that. And so I'm going to finish um, letting that cook, drain it, and then I'll be right back for the next step. Okay, so I have the fire turned down. I'm going to go ahead and um, pour in my green chilies. Pour those in. There we go. Great. Whoops. I'm gonna get those mixed in with the meat. Mmm, yummy. Smells good. Okay, so now. I said I still have the fire on, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and add my pinto beans, okay? And I drained some of the, the juice out so that it wouldn't be too liquidy because I already have to still add tomato sauce, okay? And I'm going to turn the fire up just a little bit. heating up okay and like I said my oven is on 375 okay so now let's talk about this taco seasoning usually you add this to the meat y'all so um i have it in the oven now um it is going to bake on 375 um i usually do like 20 to 30 minutes on this so we'll see how it's coming out um i know the oven should be hot enough but i'll come back when it's done and then i'll put my um jalapenos and my uh sour cream and just let you see what it looks like okay Y'all, I'm a mess. It's been raining. Now I'm in here working on the sweat cooking, so I'm looking a hot mess right now, but my food is going to be on and popping. So anyway, I'll see y'all soon. All right.
Hey guys, so I just went on and um, took my dish out. And see, look how nice and brown the cheese is at the top, okay? And this is what it looks like on the side. And you can see that the tortillas are cooked now, okay? Looking on the side, mmm, yummy. I am going to um, get, you know, washed up, take me a quick shower, and then it should be cooled off enough to eat by then. So, um, then I'll add my little sour cream and my jalapenos. All right. Oh, and what I wanted to let you guys know was that um, I ended up turning it up to 400 degrees in the oven. And this is my oven. And sometimes I adjust it depending on what I'm cooking. Um, for And I only did it for 20 minutes, okay? 20 minutes. 20 minutes on 400. Okay. I'll be back. Y'all, so that time has come for me to go ahead and get this cut and eat. Yay, I'm excited and tired, but I work hard and I deserve it. So here we go. Taking it all out. It's set for maybe, no, I think less than 10 minutes. So I can get it. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. going to spoon the little pieces if I can cut them. I think I need to cut it a little bit more. Mm, yum. Mm. This is what it's looking like. Yummy. This is what the final results are, y'all, with the sour cream and jalapenos. Yummy. Time to taste. Hey, y'all. So here we go. Time to taste. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. I hope y'all enjoy. I'm about to go enjoy mine. See y'all.